Where it's very warm today, um, they could market that. Numbers will be in the 90s this week and near 100 degrees. As we'll start by checking out the weather around uh, where the fires are burning near Clear Lake, be in the mid 90s again tomorrow. And from fire to hurricane, it's that time of the year. And there is a hurricane spinning in the eastern Pacific that at least poses a threat to the islands of Hawaii when Hector approaches the big island by midweek currently. It's a Category 4 storm, and it'll just be down to uh, Category 2 by the time it gets close to the Big Island on Wednesday. It should be far enough south so it doesn't pose a direct threat, but it could always kick up surf, waves, and some winds and rain. Uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Inland temperatures will climb to the mid-90s near the fire tomorrow. As we look south over San Francisco, very, very mild today, and yet it's August. August when temperatures are all the way up to 115 in Palm Springs and 114 in Death Valley. By comparison, Mendocino, a very mild 57 here in the Bay Area, 91 at Concord and in San Francisco, 62. Santa Rosa is at 91 degrees. Forecast for tomorrow, we're going to be seeing mid-90s inland and around the Bay mid-70s as high pressure has retreated and allowed the low clouds to bloom over the peninsula. Uh, they'll be back again tomorrow morning in the night and early morning hours. Later in the day, we've got plenty of sunshine Things will be looking good at that point, but as we look ahead to midweek, warming trend begins driving temperatures to near 98 degrees by Wednesday and Thursday. So it'll be getting warmer after numbers today dipped by about 5 to 7 degrees. Uh, tomorrow will be a, a great day to take in a ball game. Giants taking on the Astros. The first pitch at 7.15. It'll be breezy and cool at about 60 degrees. If you're heading out of SFL, it'll be windy tomorrow, but not bad. And shocking weather tomorrow in Chicago. They've got afternoon thunderstorms for us. As we look ahead, things don't change dramatically. We're going to be looking for low clouds at the shoreline. But then by midweek, we will be near 100 degrees. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the weather. And now here's sports.